Today, we will be uncovering an unpopular truth. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was not invincible. As powerful as the T-Rex was, there were only a few dinosaurs that could have posed a serious problem to the Rex if they ever ran into one. Today, we will be revealing five of these potential T-Rex assassins and their arsenal of brutal weapons. So sit back and stick with us to the end as we uncover the identity of five ultimate T-Rex killers. As a juvenile, the Tyrannosaurus Rex would have faced many challenges during its journey to become an apex predator. Living long enough to grow up to be 45 feet in length was not going to be easy. Being smaller than its adult counterparts meant that it would have faced other meat-eaters that would want it dead before it reached its maximum size. But what would have happened if, for whatever reason, a juvenile T-Rex runs into one of these? Number 1. The Utah Raptor This list takes off with a type of dinosaur that was built to kill. Raptors have been perhaps one of the most successful theropod dinosaurs of all time. Armed with a plethora of sharp claws, talons, and razor-sharp teeth, any dinosaur that ran into a group of raptors would have had a really bad time. While it is true that most raptors were lightweight and fast, the Utah Raptor is one exemption. This raptor is one of the largest of its kind, measuring up to 18 to 24 feet long. Being so large in comparison to its other relatives meant that it did not move as fast or was as agile as the other raptors. This does not matter in this scenario, since we will be squaring up a Utah Raptor against a juvenile T-Rex. A study held by James Kirkland explains that by observing its thick leg bone structure, we can assume that this raptor could have exerted enough force to inflict powerful kicks without losing its balance. In this case, these would have been the most fatal kicks this juvenile T-Rex ever experienced. Not to mention that they were armed with the raptor's primary weapons, two foot claws that could each measure more than nine inches long. These claws were more than enough to disembowel the juvenile Rex, causing it to rapidly bleed to death. The inexperienced juvenile wouldn't have stood a clear chance against a fully grown Utah Raptor, only relying on an opportunity to deploy its strong bite. Although it is true that the T-Rex did not grow around the likes of a Utah Raptor, a juvenile T-Rex would have still been on the lookout for larger and more powerful predators that posed a threat. But getting killed by the next dinosaur on this list could only be blamed on nothing else but its own carelessness. Assuming that the T-Rex survived its adolescent state and made it into early adulthood, it would have most likely faced larger and more dangerous herbivores. Unfortunately for the Rex, there were many dinosaurs in this area that were especially equipped to severely injure and even kill reckless theropods. Number 2. The Ankylosaurus Meet the most heavily armored dinosaur of all time. This prehistoric tank's most outstanding and most lethal feature is that club at the end of its tail. Studies suggest that this tail could move within a range of 100 degrees which is enough space to wind up a blow strong enough to effectively crush an adult T-Rex's fibula. The vertical range of the ankylosaur swing could have been limited to this height. In addition to a bony club, the ankylosaurus was protected with a thick layer of hide and bony osteoderms that covered its upper body. This complex arrangement of body armor went as far as protecting this creature's eyelids. Now enter the T-Rex. By knowing the capabilities of the club of an Ankylosaurus, it is very possible that a well-placed strike to the skull of a Tyrannosaurus Rex could knock it unconscious or even kill an average-sized Rex. We could go as far as assuming that it might take more than one strike to accomplish this, as the T-Rex's head would first have to be within striking range. A Rex getting killed by this dinosaur would have to be the result of underestimating the offensive capabilities of the Ankylosaurus. Unlike this herbivorous dinosaur, the next creature on this list would gladly make a meal from an unwary T-Rex. T-Rex brain cavities show evidence that their large cerebrums could aid them in learning from past experiences. This gigantic underwater creature uses stealth and the element of surprise to override any experience-based advantages the Rex may have. Number 3. Purosaurus the prehistoric world hosted the most terrifying crocodilians in Earth's history, but none was as deadly as the Purosaurus. 
Even though the T-Rex and the Purasaurus did not ever encounter each other, the Rex did most likely run into other genus of giant crocodiles in its area. But what if the Purasaurus did have an encounter with the T-Rex? The stark difference between Purasaurus and the other members of the Mega Croc family is the fact that its snout is much, much wider. This enlarged head means that the Purasaurus would have had to be equipped with even more adjacent neck muscles, thus adding to its overall mass. A study held in 2015 suggested that this animal could have measured up to 41 feet long, weighing up to 9.3 tons, and could inflict a bite force of up to 15,512 pounds per square inch. The Purasaurus, unlike the other narrow-snouted Super Crocs, could perform its signature move known as the Death Roll, which allowed it to rip anything in its jaws to shreds once it landed a good bite. What does this mean for the T-Rex? Assuming that this dinosaur approached a nearby river to get a sip of water, this would make the Rex fair game to get brutally ambushed and clamped by the Purasaurus. The unsuspecting Rex would most likely be tipped off balance thanks to the weight of the Purasaurus chomping on its neck. While our Purasaurus holds on to the Rex, let's zoom in and take a look at those serrated teeth. By observing the orientation of the tooth arrangements, we see that they are pointing inwards and backwards, telling us that this bite is exclusively purposed for smashing and piercing large-bodied vertebrates. It is now when the Purasaurus will attempt to rip the flesh from the Rex using its death roll maneuver. If executed successfully, the Rex would in this case find itself without a chunk of flesh. In order for this to kill the Rex, this maneuver would have to happen quickly and on an unwary and inexperienced T-Rex. But no amount of experience would make any large theropod completely safe from the lethal weapons of this next T-Rex killer. Not all herbivorous dinosaurs were pushovers. In fact, many of these creatures came with offensive adaptations to effectively counter and kill any predators. But there was one dinosaur in particular that stood head and shoulders above all offensively armed herbivorous animals to ever exist. Number 4. Triceratops Meet the vegetarian king of offense. If there was one dinosaur whose mere existence scared the T-Rex, it would have been a fully grown bull Triceratops. Armed with horns that could exceed three feet in length, a bony frill, and a temperamental attitude, there were very few, if any, carnivores that could stand their ground in a 1v1 match against this Ceratopsian. In addition to its arsenal of weapons, this dinosaur's own anatomy helped the trike leverage its offensive capabilities to maximum effect. One example of this is the Triceratops' leg structure. While its rear legs were straight like a rhino's, its front legs splayed out, allowing it to better support itself while pushing its center of gravity towards its main weapon, its 1,000-pound horned head. This anatomical structure made any attack from a Triceratops all the more fatal. But the real source of its offensive maneuverability was something that is hidden within this dinosaur's neck. This head was attached to the rest of its body with a ball socket joint, allowing extremely fast movements in a 360-degree range of motion, meaning that the Triceratops could place its main weapon between the Rex and the rest of its body at all times. Now to the business end of the trike's offensive power, the long, deadly horns. Each of these weapons consisted of bone protrusions covered in a thick layer of keratin, making them the perfect tool to pierce through other dinosaurs like hot knives through butter. Some scientists believe that these horns could withstand pressures of up to a whopping 36,000 pounds of force. A reckless Tyrannosaurus Rex would easily find itself impaled in many different locations of its body. But the most fatal strike would have been in its torso. Apart from being the most accessible area to strike, a single puncture from just one of the trike's horns would pierce through the ribcage, lungs, and reach the heart of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, killing it almost immediately. The only safer way a Tyrannosaurus could have taken down a Triceratops would be by ambush, or while attacking it with other pack members. So far, we have covered dinosaurs that may have been smaller than the Tyrannosaurus. The next dinosaur, however, makes any land predator look insignificant in comparison to its sheer size. Traveling to the southernmost area inhabited by the Tyrannosaurus rex, we find one of the last remaining giant dinosaurs to ever live during this time period. Number 5. 
the Alamosaurus. When this dinosaur was first discovered in 1922, paleontologists at the time imagined this animal to be a mediocre 60 to 65 feet in length, which is not much larger than one of the longest theropods to ever live, Spinosaurus. More recent discoveries reveal that this dinosaur was in fact much larger than originally theorized, with some studies claiming that it might have measured close to 90 plus feet in length and weighing up to 70 tons. Because dinosaurs in this area were sharing grounds with the most dangerous theropods, being big was only one of their defensive adaptations. In 2015, Michael Bretford confirmed that this massive sauropod was most likely armored based on findings that showed evidence of osteoderms. These osteoderms are bony formations on a dinosaur's skin that is usually accompanied by very thick hides. Another factor that points to the success of this dinosaur is a study that claimed that up to 350,000 Alamosaurus might have been inhabiting this area at any given time. While it is true that a younger Alamosaurus might have been an easier target for a T-Rex, a fully grown Alamosaurus against a single T-Rex would have been a literal squash match. The Alamosaurus was equipped with a massive armored body along with a heavy tail that could have been used for offense. A more effective maneuver against a T-Rex would have been something a bit more devastating. We know that most large sauropods could very likely rear on their hind legs as an offensive maneuver, and with their tremendous amount of forward momentum, deliver the deadliest crushing power in the animal kingdom. A Tyrannosaurus, or literally any large theropod, would have zero chances of surviving a crushing impact from a 70-ton sauropod. Having said this, it would have been extremely difficult for a solitary T-Rex to defeat any sauropod of similar proportions, making this entire group of dinosaurs capable of probably killing a fully grown Tyrannosaurus Rex. Would a T-Rex really try to take on a sauropod of this size by itself? Probably not. T-Rexes were most likely intelligent enough to not put themselves into a suicidal situation. Are there any other dinosaurs that you think should have been in this video? Do you agree or disagree with this analysis? Let us know what you think in the comments. For more fun information and cool dinosaur fights, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and like always, we're excited to see you again in our next video.